Hey guys, uh, sorry for getting here so late. I was kind of busy. No, no, don't get up. I'll just fall up a chair here. I gotta admit though, I was really surprised when you guys suddenly invited me to a big dinner like this. That's such a nice restaurant too. <laughs> well, it was kind of hard to say no when all of you wouldn't stop calling me to make sure I'd show up. Still, it's really good to see you guys. It's been a long time since we all got together like this, huh? Yeah, sorry for being so distant for so long. I've just been... going through some stuff lately. No, no. No relationship drama or anything like that. Honestly, I haven't actually been dating for a while now. I mean, yeah, there have been a few dates every now and then, but nothing serious. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, guys, but I don't really think getting set up right now is a good idea. No, really. I, I'm not in a place to date right now anyway. Just because, okay? I don't want to get into it right now. Okay, fine. So what if it's about her? Look, I've told you guys before. Stuff just happened. And we broke up. End of story. Yeah, okay. I guess I got pretty depressed when it happened, but... Look, I appreciate that you guys are worried or just interested in what I've been going through. But seriously, I'm fine, okay? Guys... I really don't think I can talk about this. Yeah, I know I've always said I'd talk about it one day, but... Uh, you know what? Fine. Clearly you guys won't give up on this. And I guess I've kept it a secret long enough. And maybe talking about it will actually help. Well, for starters, you guys guessed right. I've been distracted all this time because of what happened. And I don't know if any of you have guessed this part yet, but it wasn't exactly a normal breakup. <sighs> well, about three years ago now, I think, I was dating this amazing girl. I'm not sure if you all remember her. She was funny, charming, smart, basically anything anybody would want in a partner. I loved her so much, and... I know she loved me too. <laughs> I honestly thought we'd be together forever, but then something happened. We were out walking through town on just another date. Then all of a sudden, a whole bunch of like glass and debris just started falling from this building. I think it was just being built. I didn't see it, but she did. Then she pushed me out of the way, but then it fell on her. She got hit with it. I called an ambulance right away, but I was still so worried. There was so much blood. I didn't want to lose her. Still, it wasn't long before I was told that she'd be fine. She needed a lot of stitches from the cuts, and she'd have to rest a lot from the blows she took to the head. But otherwise, she was perfectly fine. I was so glad to hear that she was okay, but then... And I saw her face. It was covered in stitches and marks, and I knew it would leave a scar. And before I knew it, I left. I just left without saying a single word. No matter how many days passed, I just... I couldn't look at her. And the whole time, she just kept calling and texting me, asking if I was okay. She was the one who got hurt, but she was still more worried about me. And even though I knew that, the very last time I went to see her face to face, all I said was that I couldn't do this anymore. I tried to reason that I just felt guilty for her injuries, that I shouldn't be with her because I caused it. But deep down, I knew. I just I couldn't bear to look at her anymore. And she knew it too. She knew how... Disgusted I was. <sighs> she cried. She cried and she begged me to stay. She even offered to wear a fucking mask from that point on. But no matter what she said, I just... I wouldn't listen. Even before she could stop crying, I left. She was crying and in pain and I just 
fucking left. It didn't take long for me to realize how much I fucked up. She was the kindest and most caring person I'd ever met. And I just left her. Just like that. All because I just couldn't look past some stupid thing like a scar on her face. I tried to go and apologize. I wanted to tell her how much I still loved her. And that I wouldn't let how she looks get in the way anymore. But... She was gone. Somehow, she packed up everything and just disappeared. Without a trace. I tried calling, texting, email. Nothing worked. And apparently she didn't tell anybody else where she went either. Probably because they all acted the same way I did when I saw her new appearance. Initially, I thought she just overreacted. But... After all this time, I think I can understand now, at least a little bit. I mean, I'll never understand what it's like to have to go through life like that. People averting their eyes, using fake smiles, treating her like a freak. <laughs> I'd probably move away too. I did try to get over her. I tried going on dates every now and then, but no matter what I did... She was always on my mind. And she still is. It's just... It's been killing me. Knowing that I never got to apologize. Knowing I never got to say that... I still love her. And knowing that... I'll probably never see her again. <sighs> well, there you have it. That's the reason why I've been so distant. The reason that I've been spiraling like this, it's all my fault. Of course I still want to see her again. Not a day goes by where I haven't dreamed of that. Yes, even here. How is that even a question? Now's my chance? What do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you standing there. Um, did you need something? Uh, if you were planning to join us, I can go grab another chair. Or... Wait. That... That voice. Are you... But how? I mean, you... I just... But wait, guys. How did you even... Was this all your idea, or... Hey! Um... Looks like it's just the two of us now. <laughs> so, um... Would you like to sit down? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll just put this chair back real quick. So, um... It's good to see you again. Though I almost didn't recognize you with that mask on. I mean, it's covering most of your face, but... Your hairstyle's really different now, too. It looks good on you. Really. I just mean, like, you never let it grow out like that when we were dating. <clears throat> um, anyway. I honestly thought I'd never see you again. You know, um, after you moved? I, I see. So you moved back here to be with your parents. <laughs> I get that. You and your family were always pretty close, huh? I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Honestly, I... I really don't know what to say. There's just so much that I've wanted to tell you. I missed you. I missed you so much. I tried calling, you know? And texting too, of course. Yeah, I, I figured you got them. I don't blame you for ignoring them, though. I probably would have done the same thing in your shoes. Um, if you want, you can take off the face mask. I can't imagine it's comfortable to keep wearing it like that. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't want to see how your scar looks. I just thought you'd be more comfortable that way. Though, after what I did... 
I can imagine why you'd want to keep the mask on. I'm sorry. I just... I want to try to make things right. I want to try to fix everything that happened three years ago. <laughs> Look, I know one dinner's not going to be enough to fix this. Especially since my friends probably had to do a lot of convincing to get you here. But I really do want to fix this. Ever since you left, I, I haven't stopped thinking about you. I haven't stopped thinking about all the great times we had. All the time we spent together. And how much I still love you. Not a day has gone by where I haven't thought about you. And how much I wished I could have just apologized and told you how much I loved you. I, I know I don't deserve you. And I know I don't deserve your love either. But I at least want to try. I want to become someone who deserves you again. So if there's any way that I can get you to stay in my life, I'll do it. I'll change. I'll do anything you want. So please, just just don't leave me again. What? Oh, you're taking off your mask? You don't have to. Really. You want to? Okay. Um, it looks faded. That's, that's good, right? Does it still hurt? I know that you had a hard time eating when you first got it. It's gotten easier? Good. That's, that's good to hear. No, I won't look away. Not this time. I want to show you that I can accept all of you this time. To show you that I've changed. You still can't forgive me yet. Yeah, I, I understand. What I did, it can't just be forgotten that easily. But do I still have a chance to at least just be close to you? Yes, I will never act like that again. You have my word. And I swear, I won't try to push for anything. I just, just want you in my life again. Then you'll give me a chance? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I swear, you won't regret this. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be so loud. I'm just really happy right now. I never thought I'd see you again, let alone be able to talk to you like this. I really have to thank my friends for this later. They were really persistent, weren't they? They wouldn't leave you alone until you agreed to come? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. They mean well, but I don't think they realize how intense I can get. Still, I'm really grateful for how things turned out. And I know I have a long way to go until we can be on good terms again. But you have my word. I will do my best. I promise, I'll never hurt you again. <laughs>